in the wilderness of the far north, in a place called the Klondike. There lived an animal who became a legend. They called him White Fang. Part wolf and part husky, White Fang ran with the wind. Nothing could stop him, for he was wild and free. Thousands of people came, seeking their fortunes at the expense of the land. Only one little girl earned White Fang's love and respect, and they became true friends. Life in this majestic wilderness was forever changed. White Fang's world would never be the same. But he and Wendy met the challenges of this new land, and together they lived a legend. The legend of White Fang. Our guests of honor haven't arrived. I don't see Kiwan and her pup anywhere, One-Eye. Or my Chaka. Where has that pup wandered off to this time, White Fang? Wendy, you're so excitable. And loud. You're going to scare them away. Gosh, there aren't many honors to scare this year, Sergeant Oaks. That's why the government called off this hunt. How does anything that starts out that cute grow up to be that nasty? Makes you wonder if maybe Beauty Smith was a cute kid. <laughs> we may have to run Smith's baby picture in tomorrow's newspaper if we don't get home soon to develop this film. get to join the wolf pack, Mother. Yes, you'll soon have lots of friends to play with. And I'll get a name. I bet it'll be a name that describes me perfectly. Like, Great Hunter. <laughs> or Clumsy Cub. Yo! Mother? Don't worry. They won't hurt you. Someone's in trouble! It's a wolf pup. This way. No one can hear me. I wish I'd listened to Father and stayed close to the pack. Are you all right, little one? Oh, I'm not hurt, but I can't get out! You stay here. I'll get help. And please be careful. I won't be gone long. Kiwan, what's wrong? A female pup is trapped in a pit at the edge of the forest. I think we found your daughter, One-Eye. Help's on the way, Chaka. You'll be out of there soon. Oh, 
some more trapped agenda. No time to wait. You have to get out of there now. Stand back, Chaka. Climb up to the top, Chaka. Quick! I can't make it! A human is heading toward the pit! It's Beauty Smith and his miserable dog, Jack. Blast! Caught nothing but a hunk of dead wood! <laughs> well, Kiwan, looks like your pup saved my Chaka. We have gathered today to welcome Kiwan and her pup to the pack. And I have the perfect name for our little hero. We shall call him Brave Heart. <laughs> Read him and weep, Guthrie. <laughs> I'm tired of playing cards, Jeb. I'm glad the hunt starts tomorrow. Read this. And weep. Mm. It says the otter hunt is canceled. Oh, what do you mean canceled? It means that we made this trip north for nothing. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Have a nice trip home. Home? Well, where are we going to get the money for boat fare? Maybe we can help. <laughs> you two have a gold mine to give away? This year, otters are worth their weight in gold. <laughs> Dad said someday I'd be chasing newspaper stories, but this is not what I had in mind. But poaching is uh, uh, against the law. Poaching otters? Hmm. Relax, Delazlo's paying a decent price. Oh, there's the wagon, like the Lazlo said. You hitch up the horse, and I'll stand watch. Yeah, stand and watch me do the work. Oh, there's nothing in here but a mangy old... <laughs> you bad-tempered old mule! What did you call me? <laughs> <laughs> we'll soon be on the next boat out of here, with nobody the wiser. Now what have I got myself into? But Guthrie, what if someone sees us? We're from Oregon, Jeb. We've been in Dawson for two days. Who's going to identify us? The otter poachers, Jeb and Guthrie, arrived in Dawson from Oregon last Tuesday. I'm really working undercover this time. Oh no, my story notes. Hmm, fresh wheel tracks. What'd you find, White Fang? Yeah, what'd you find? Don't you two have something to do other than follow me around? I'm in training. Someday I'm going to be just like you, White Fang. Fat chance! I will too. Will not. Why don't you two run along and play? Will too. Will not. I will too. See you the same time tomorrow, White Fang. Wolves? <laughs> You're so clumsy. Am not. Or too. Am not. Or too. I am not. This is Wendy's. How did it get out here in the forest? So far from town. Aw, oh, isn't that cute? She's pretending to be a reporter. Listen to this. Clarion staff reporter Wendy gets the scoop again. Hiding in the back of a wagon? Driven by poachers? Good grief! 
And he's in danger. I'll get Sergeant Oaks. They must be on their way to the breeding ground. I bet you've never seen otters before. I have too. You think they're funny looking now? Wait till you see them run. Follow me. No, you'll scare them. You're the one who scared Chaka. I am not. I may already be too late. Moggy, she's trapped, and there's no way back up. Get off the ice! It's dangerous! I'll try to open up a space big enough! Where are you, Moggy? I'm here, Moggy! Hurry! I can't hold the ice apart much longer! A wolf! I'm scared, Bill. It sounds like it's nearby. It sounds like... White Fang! And his leg is caught in the ice! I hope this works! We can't move the ice, White Fang! Oh, White Fang! That must hurt! Maybe I can get you loose. Stand back, pups. Pull your leg out, White Fang! Are you all right, White Fang? Let me see. I'm sorry. White Fang? White Fang! Oh no, are you okay? Yeah, you just fainted, huh? I better get you some water. I wonder where Jeb and Bill are. <laughs> you don't know us well enough to call us by our first names. And frankly, I really don't want to know you any better. Jeb, there's a girl here. Find her. Get off of me, you little mongrels. Yo. I gotcha. Let me go. It's that nosy newspaper girl. I'm an investigative reporter. Well, what are we gonna do with her? We're gonna make sure she stays lost in the woods. Help! Help! And stays quiet. Oh, well, that takes care of the intrepid reporter. Looks like she'll miss her deadline. So the hunt is on again. Look, Jeb, 
It's a big bad wolf. Oh, 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 oh I'm scared. <laughs> 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 He's not scared of that. So where's the gun? I left it in the wagon. In, in that case... <laughs> Get away, you little monster! Guthrie, the big guy's head your way! This wolf's hurt. You must be crazy with pain. Jim, get the gun! What's your problem now? the dog dragged in. Nice work, White Fang. I wonder if you can deputize a wolf. <coughs> Looks like he injured his leg. He's no wolf, Guthrie. He's a police dog. And a smart one, too. Maybe I should find a four-legged partner. Maybe you should tell me where I can find my daughter. What the? Hmm. The pup seems to know where to go. You look for Wendy. I'll take care of our poachers here. There you go, White Fang. It looks like it'll be fine. Wendy! Here I am, Dad! Oh! Oh, I was worried about you. I didn't want to miss a hot story, Dad. We're a team, Wendy. Please, no more solo reporting. I wasn't alone, Dad. I've got two cub reporters. <laughs> and White Fang. Guthrie! It's about time, Smith. This should pay your fine. What the? What's the ruckus? Maybe we should ask Smith out there. Uh. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Smith. You dropped your money. Uh, uh must have fallen out of my pocket. Uh, it belongs to Mr. DeLazlo. Uh, um, is that your official statement? What are you doing up there, Smith? Uh, uh nothing, Sarge. Uh, I was just fixing this here loose shingle. <laughs> <laughs> That should do it. Just doing your civic duty, Smith? <laughs> you can count on me if you need anything fixed. Always happy to help out. Help those two out of jail, you mean? Time to have a little talk with Mr. DeLazlo. Ah, oh, surely, gentlemen. You don't think I would know anything about poachers? But they were in possession of your mule and wagon. Stolen in broad 
daylight. Where do you find a Mountie when you need one? Maybe you can explain why Beauty Smith was found on the jail roof. With this roll of money. Volunteering to repair it? Bless his heart. Since Beauty is so good-hearted, I don't suppose you'd mind if we gave the money to charity. To buy warm clothes for the poor. Hmm. The poor? <laughs> Such a worthy cause. <laughs> do you still insist you have nothing to do with this, Mr. DeLazlo? Wendy, this is a police matter. But, Dad, inquiring minds want to know. There's no evidence you were involved, DeLazlo, but I'll be keeping an eye on you. Me too. Bye! Whoop. All that money gone to buy mittens from Miss Fortunates. <laughs> oh, I can't stand it. <laughs> We're happy you could make it, friends. We're happy to be here. And you are the guests of honor. Yum! This looks like a party. We would like to thank you for helping us, White Fang. And you too, Brave Heart and Shaka. Your little adventure started out badly, but you were both very brave. And I'm proud of you. <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> Let's show them our appreciation! <laughs> <laughs>